Hello there, welcome to our tutorial on for expressions. In this tutorial we're going to uh, take the while expressions tutorial and uh, alternate it into a uh, different style of uh, iterating through a loop. Now, as discussed in the while expression tutorial, uh, while expressions are really used when we don't really have an idea of what the length is. We can repeatedly uh, loop through a piece of code until a certain condition allows us to escape from the loop. So in this case we uh, used the end of the callers list to denote the uh, end of the loop and incremented the value each time. What a for loop does, uh, it really uh, performs this uh, incrementing process for us in the uh, header of the for loop. So let's uh, take the example we had in the while expressions tutorial and modify it slightly to suit our needs for a for expression. So this is called a for expression. Now for expressions have a very different header. The uh, logic will obviously be the same, but the for loop will manage the increment, uh, incrementing fours. So we're going to remove this value and the incrementing here and also we wish to change the header and do remember value is, was defined in our while expression here uh, as a mutable value which we've now removed so these will throw errors for now so if we begin to start a new for expression for expressions begin with the keyword for uh, we define a new variable here similar to our value but we do it in the header of the uh, for expression we're saying 4x, we could even use value to be fair, and that would mean we won't have to change these. So if we say for value equals 0, because this is where our value starts from, uh, our mutable value we had before started at 0, so we will make a new value here which starts at 0 also. And this will continue incrementing until it reaches a certain condition we specify here. And what we're specifying here is very similar to what we had in the while expression, which is the length of the caller's list subtract 1. Because the length of the caller's list is 5, and if we minus 1, we're going from 0 to 4. Because we're starting at 0, uh, I didn't mention this in the while expressions tutorial, from 0 to 4 is 5. Um, if this was 1, then we wouldn't have minus 1, because it would be 1 to 5. But because lists start at position 0, we need to use 0 to access the first item. So that's why we're using 0 to length minus 1, rather than 1 to callers.length. So once we've done that, we use the keyword do. And this allows us to process the rest of our logic. The done keyword is exactly the same for while expressions. The only difference is that our incremention is uh, done within the header of the for expression. So we have the keyword for our starting value, which we initialize here and set to a starting value. The keyword to and uh, the portion between to and do specify a length uh, of the iteration and this will tell the for loop when to escape calling this logic and process the rest of the program. So if we execute this program here, we're getting pretty much exactly the same result from our while expression tutorial. In this particular example, I think because we know the length of the list, a for expression would be more useful. Uh, while expressions, as I mentioned briefly before, are useful when maybe a length isn't known, so we can keep looping until maybe something triggers or something happens. So they're the difference between the two expressions. Uh, both are quite valid to use, so use whichever you feel more comfortable with, and um, obviously depending on the scenario, you might adopt either a for or a while expression. So uh, I hope you get the uh, chance to use for and while expressions quite a lot during your future development with F-Sharp. So um, I'm Sean Greasley. Thank you for listening.